preschool friends it's so good to see you I wonder has this guy ever surprised you maybe you've seen a cloud and it looked like a dinosaur or maybe you've seen shooting stars and made a wish as it flashed across the sky the sky can surprise us and that's what happened to the shepherds they were out in their fields under a big night sky a sky they knew very well because they had looked up at it thousands of times before. But before we finish telling the story, let's light our Advent candle. We are in our third week of Advent. And we light this first candle to remind us of the hope that comes with Jesus. The faith and peace we have in knowing that Jesus is always with us. And the joy we have in knowing that Jesus is the Messiah. The shepherds were used to the night sky. But on this night, light burst through the sky and it kind of scared them. The light was the glory of the Lord and they were not expecting that. But they heard an angel say to them, do not be afraid. For I bring you good news of great joy. A baby has been born in the city nearby, under the same dark sky. The baby will be the savior of the world and will also be known later as the light of the world. Do you know who this baby is? That's right, Jesus. Sometimes we're taught to think light is good and dark is bad. But our Christmas story tells us that God shows up in everything. God the Son is born as Jesus in the dark of night, and the glory of the Lord filled the sky. 
and the shepherds are invited to see it all. Good news is always around us. Friends, I hope you will enjoy watching this Christmas story. Look for where you see God in the dark and in the light. Jesus is born and that is good news. And good news is all around us. On the same night, under the same starry sky, not too far away, there were shepherds taking care of their flock during the night watch. It was an ordinary night as the animals quietly grazed. But soon, this ordinary night was interrupted by glory. Something caught their attention. Suddenly, the shepherds realized they were no longer alone in this field that night. An angel stood before them. The shepherds were terrified, but the angel comforted them, saying, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news. Tonight a Savior has been born in Bethlehem. He is the Messiah, and he was born for you. The angel told the shepherds exactly where to find this baby boy, this gift of hope come to earth. He would be wrapped snugly in cloth and lying in a feeding trough in a nearby stable in the city of David. In the blink of an eye, the glorious multitude of the heavenly host appeared, surrounding those humble shepherds in glory. With their voices, they lifted up an angelic song of praise to God. And in that breathtaking moment, the heavens boldly proclaimed the glory of the one who not only knew the stars by name, but knew the names of those humble shepherds in the field. This quiet night turned into the most glorious of nights, and the shepherds hurried off to find the baby boy. They found him lying in a feeding trough, exactly as the angel had said. The shepherds couldn't keep this good news inside. They told everyone they met about the angel, the heavenly host, the young couple, and the precious Christ child. And all who heard it were amazed. Just as we continue to be amazed as we remember this night, this moment, when hope was made known to us.